Hello and welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me today for the terrific Taurus 2022 horoscope. So glad you're here. Well, uh, things are looking more positive for 2022. You know, it's been quite a tough time for many people in 2020, 2021. We still have a few sort of leftover things happening like uh, Saturn squaring Uranus. We will get a couple of hits uh, this year. I'll talk about that in depth and what it means for you. Uh, there's four eclipses, which is more or less normal. Uh, Mercury goes retrograde four times, which is more or less normal. But one of those times it's in your sign. So that's very significant for you. Also, your ruler, uh, Venus, is retrograde until the 29th. So that's how we're starting, starting the year, the 29th of January, I mean. And uh, starting the year with your ruler retrograde is also important. One of the biggest things that's happening this year is that the USA are having their Pluto return, which only happens every 248 years. That's how long it takes Pluto to go around the sun and to return to the same spot uh, when it was uh, and the US was uh, when it was when the US was forming itself into a country. OK, there was a bunch of states that got together and they have a constitution and we could find that something strange happens with the constitution in 2022 so it could be reinterpreted in a new way or perhaps some part of it is rewritten in a new way uh, so that's unheard of never happened before that it's actually been sort of rewritten but yeah we'll have to wait and see what that means but it will affect uh, many countries so just because you're not living in the US doesn't mean you get off scot-free because whatever the US does other countries follow and I know Australia is very quick to follow whatever the US government is doing okay regardless of which government's in Australia's in there you know straight away <laughs> maybe too quickly <laughs> all right so you know but basically there's some beautiful uh influences uh neptune sextiling venus is beautiful and we we'll get a couple of hits of that uh and a couple of other things you know but with um pluto return it does highlight um power over uh, control uh, the power that authority figures have in our lives, you know, and um, also things like manipulation and addiction. And so we could see, you know, much more volatility in the US and where we've already been. It's already been volatile, uh, but I would imagine this year with Pluto return that it's going to be more uh, volatile. And Pluto is all about life, death and rebirth. And so... Although we have a, a specific date, February 12th, uh, it's, it's likely, or it will, rather, it will go for the next couple of years until 2024. And in reality, the energy is already there. It's already started. So uh, we can expect something major around that date. Uh, but yeah, it's a long sort of process uh, over a couple of years that this volatility is going to continue for. Uh, so yeah keep your eyes on that just briefly uh, I like to draw two theme cards uh, as uh, or two tarot cards as theme cards for the year for you I'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end so stick around for that let's go to the board now uh, and have a look what these cards have to say uh, firstly and uh, we'll see where that's going all right so the first card for you terrific Taurus for 2022 i'm going to go with that one underneath there closing my eyes now what do i see ah okay toast in the toaster and it's undercooked it pops out and it's not cooked okay so maybe this is a bit like something takes longer than you think uh, and it's to do with nurturance and looking after yourself uh, and you've got quite a fair bit happening spiritually this year and it is important to have time out so things take longer than you think, especially where it's regarding your self-nurturance. Maybe you need to have time off where you just have a vacation or thing or something like that. But yeah, it might be a good idea to have an extended vacation, perhaps. The card that comes up is the Six of Pentacles. Well, this might be what sort of influences you because it is about how you manage your money. And you can see, as always, there's always 
people, lots of people with their hands out and you're deciding who and when you pay and how much you pay and how you manage your money. Uh, and so you having time out might depend on your money supply. This is sort of, this card, it's not supposed to be positive or negative. It just says that basically there's lots of activity over organizing and paying out money. Uh, however, with this blue that Michael often, Michael the Archangel often has around him, uh, this electric blue, I always think it's like a positive sort of sign. At least you'll have the money to do it. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's look at the second card, the theme card for you, uh, Taurus. And being a Taurian, of course, um, your ruler is Venus, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but um, she looks after money. So that's it's very important. Money is important to you. And that's okay. The second card of the uh, year second card of the year for terrific Taurus okay I see a rope ladder so it's like you're holding on to a ladder yes you are ascending in consciousness but it feels a little bit unsteady it's like you've got your head in the clouds and maybe you're not sure of your footing at the moment because everything is changing and yes it is it's changing for everybody uh, so things you thought were solid are not as solid as you thought they were and other things, fantastic things, come into your life like out of the blue. So it is a time of letting go of stuff. So new stuff comes in, which takes you to a higher level. This is great, the High Priestess, because it's about listening to your intuition. Even if you have a sort of religious kind of structure behind you. See, she's got the Torah there, which is the Jewish Kabbalah system, I believe. Um, even if you have a religion in the background that you follow... Uh, perhaps you're letting go of those rules that were made by somebody else and you're following your own heart and following your own uh, the religion that is the one that you know makes sense to you rather than somebody else's rules and so that's what this is about and this blue here I associate with Mother Mary and also with family she looks after families okay but this says that your intuition your psychic ability is increasing this year so even if you feel like your head's in the clouds and you're not sure what's happening you feel all at sea uh, no it's okay because your gaining in wisdom and your spirituality is growing and there is a lot happening about that there and there all right, let's have a look at some of this astrology now. Firstly, very importantly, Venus, your ruler, is retrograde until the 29th of January. Here it is in the ninth house. This is where you expand your life. You get a, a broader view. You, you look at the big picture. It's also your spirituality. It's called the house of the higher mind. So you could be thinking about studying, learning, uh, it's also about foreign connections, uh, long distance travel, and the exotic, uh, bringing in different energies so life becomes more interesting. With Venus retrograde there, it means there's a slowing down and that you have to find a new way uh, to deal with these matters. Venus also looks after like peace, harmony, uh, relationships, finances. Uh, beauty and so you might be looking at different ways that you can incorporate uh, these into your daily life and grow your life in some way through these ways if that makes sense okay so anything uh, that is like Venus when Venus is retrograde it's not a good time to make a decision about something maybe sit back reflect uh, and reassess your life and then after Venus turns direct then you can make your decision proper. Jupiter is dancing back between the 11th house of uh, friends and connections and also the 12th house of your spirituality. Uh, so it brings a lot of good luck. It brings a lot of help um, from the angels uh, and it's about your spirituality expanding. Just one sec, I've got to have a drink. Sorry. There's four eclipses uh, this year in your sign. And we have a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. And also in your partnership area, your significant other. There's transformation and new beginnings happening here with important 
significant relationships okay Saturn squares Uranus yes I've talked about that uh, and uh, Mercury retrograde I talked about that that's basically these dates May 10th to June 2nd although there is a couple of weeks either side of that called the shadow period uh, it starts Mercury is retrograding in Gemini and ends up in your sign terrific Taurus so you could be really quite affected by this so yeah watch for delays miscommunications back up all your devices and even your vehicle make sure your vehicle if you have a car or uh, whatever type of vehicle make sure that it's in good working order okay now we'll come to some specific um, aspects up until 1st of February and then again from the 5th of August to the 7th of December Pluto is conjuncting Pluto this brings deeply rooted and hidden energies up from the past and they're activated so it's like you're running on instinct at certain times you know during this time periods and that's okay you don't have to think all the time but if you're dealing with money uh, I think logic uh, is a good thing to use it's like you're driven instinctively to do certain things and you don't understand why you're doing them but that's okay uh, sometimes they work out the best uh, that happened to me when I started Absolute Soul Secrets 21 years ago I was having dreams I started and I didn't really know why I was just following the dream you know so I, I it's not a bad thing if you're being instinctive use some logic sometimes for uh, 14th of November 21 to the 21st of March Uranus trines the Sun this is fabulous it's an upbeat time a lot of enthusiasm and creativity you feel spontaneous and creative uh, it's a great time especially for art dance music um, and even scientific work or detailed work you're likely to be quite original and you can create things with fresh insight 17th of September 21 to the 8th of February Neptune conjuncts Neptune this gives you a vivid and wild imagination you're likely to enjoy fairy tales mythology and uh, metaphysical topics uh, it's not very powerful but if you're sensitive you'll probably feel it uh, then Venus uh, retrograde from the 19th of December to the 29th of January 2022 review reassess and reflect on your decisions relating to uh, love money uh, and uh, also through learning spirituality and overseas connections uh, so money beauty and relationships form part of the overall picture uh, then we have 7th to the 25th of January Saturn sextiling Mars this brings uh, cooperation and harmony with co-workers if you're in a club or organization or some sort of group it's likely that you'll work very effectively as a team 22nd of January to the 4th of February Venus trines Uranus bringing unexpected pleasures new friends a more playful adventurous attitude uh, this is a stimulating and delightful time for you have a break from your usual routine experiment and be spontaneous a new romance or revitalization of an existing relationship is very likely 23rd of February to the 4th of March Jupiter squares Mars now normally uh, when you hear square you think it's some sort of hard negative aspect but with Jupiter it can be quite positive and this is because you feel bold daring and enterprising and if you do feel hemmed in or restricted in some way you'll find a way to break those restrictions and enlarge your horizons uh, you could seek to find a new job look at new places that offer new more uh, more or more opportunities if you've got a business you could advertise uh, products or peruse new business opportunities especially in your local area 7th of February to the 2nd of April 2022 and almost again October 4th but not quite exact and that is Uranus squaring Saturn which is quite difficult and frustrating because things just don't want to go the way you plan them they run their own course regarding uh, regardless of your plans or intentions 
Disturbances, annoyances and interruptions make this a difficult time to stick to your knitting, okay? It's just hard because you just keep getting interrupted because these two planets have different energies. So uh, Saturn is structured, cautious, slow, you know, doesn't want to move much. Uranus is volatile, chaotic and moves like a lightning bolt, you know. So uh, they've got different energies and you, and you have to integrate uh, those energies within yourself basically 13th of February to the 9th of April and again 22nd of September to the 9th of February 2023 Neptune sextiles Venus this is beautiful because it brings compassion sympathy and love into your life and into your heart your heart reaches out to other people you can help other people and they'll help you, okay? If there's been a difficulty with someone and remember you've got these eclipses here in your seventh house of significant relationships, legalities and open enemies. Now open enemies are just people that you don't get on with and they don't get on with you. But with this Neptune, uh, Neptune sextiling Venus, these relationships can be healed on some level. So that's fantastic 24th of march to the 2nd of april jupiter conjuncts neptune your mind could be wandering to faraway places your imagination is kindled with thoughts of the exotic mystical and fantastic you feel restless and bored by your daily routine and it's hard to think about mundane things you can't concentrate because you're daydreaming but it is a great time for vacation or travel and it's quite inspiring so a bit of daydreaming is a good thing in my mind 16th of april to the 25th of april jupiter sextiles pluto this brings cooperation with businesses government agencies and influential people uh, you gain support and uh, cooperation from these authority figures maybe in the past they sort of ignored you in some way but now they're listening to you which is fabulous organizations and influential people will assist you okay 30th of april and this is the first of may if you're in australia or new zealand there's a solar eclipse in your sign so this is significant because it's going to bring new beginnings to your belief systems okay and your identity what you think about yourself and so it's tweaked it's like your ideas are tweaked so you're more in alignment with your core values sounds like a simple idea we all have core values about what we think is important at a deep psychological level uh, but they're not always top of mind and so sometimes we make decisions that sort of violate or impinge on our core values so this is quite important for you 10th of may to the 29th of october and again 20th of december to the 16th of may 2023 Jupiter moves into your 12th house, providing a time of healing and spiritual renewal. Your spiritual world will expand. The self-reflection and solitude gives you success in your physical life later on. So think of it as an investment. The time you spend in solitude now pays off later. You may be drawn to other people, uh, for example, charities, uh, or other people help you. Angels and higher beings are helping you now. So Jupiter will go back and forth between the 11th and the 12th houses. The 11th house is connections, groups, um, your hopes and dreams. And Jupiter is bringing energy to this section, these sections of your life. Okay, uh, 16th of May to the 10th of August, Neptune sextiles Pluto, bringing tremendous psychological and inner growth. Um, the growth you have spiritually speaking under this influence you might not notice it in your outside world just yet but it is important and beneficial because you'll get rid of negative deeply uh, ingrained negative beliefs and attitudes and then that will eventually filter down to your uh, physical life uh, so i did mention mercury retrograde the 10th of may to this uh, june 2nd uh, ending in your sign so be aware of travel delays um, and back up your equipment because yeah mercury can play fun fun games with technology sometimes and there's miscommunications as well 24th of june to the 25th of october uranus trines your mc 
your MC is uh, medium uh, coli uh, and it's about your general life direction or perhaps uh, even your career and uh, it's a very positive time you feel more enthusiastic and there's a lot more vital, uh, vitality in your life and you're just generally excited about things. Every day sort of brings new um, excitement about something. You can seek out more creative outlets and interesting work. 22nd of September to 9th of February 2023, uh, Neptune sextiles Venus. And I did mention that before. It was compassion, sympathy, and your heart reaching out to other people. And it's like you feel more gentle and caring. They notice your other people notice your kindness. You can break down barriers very gently now. 23rd of October to the 24th of December, Jupiter sextiles Mercury. Uh, this is likely to bring long distance communications or messages about your spirituality. Your life expands somehow through communication and brilliant ideas come to you in a flash. 25th of October sees a solar eclipse in Scorpio here in your 7th house bringing new beginnings to significant partnerships, legalities or people you don't get on with. 8th of November sees a lunar eclipse in your sign here and this brings a transformation of your identity and belief systems and you could reinvent yourself now. Okay, so that's it for your horoscope. So you can see there is a lot of positive influences there and a, a lot happening around uh, your spirituality, lots of aspects around your spirituality. Um, so that looks really beneficial. I'm just going to close my eyes now and see what I can see. Oh, I seem to be sort of frozen. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyway, we'll go back to the board and I'll make it a bit bigger uh, so that you can see if you want to write anything down and bear those two cards in mind uh, as well. Okay, so that's that's the Six of Pentacles. Just put that there like that. All right, going to close my eyes. What do I see for Terrific Taurus for 2022? Come on down. I see coins. Of course, this can represent your money. Uh, and there is a bit happening there um, about finances because of Venus uh, specifically. But um, that's just one of the influences. But when I see coins like this silver coins, it also means transformation and change. And uh, I know sometimes you don't like to change, you're reluctant to change, you know, and uh, that's okay, you know, as a fixed sign, that's how you are. Um, but yes, there is change. Now I see a light switch, and it's like flicking a switch for you. It's like you'll go from one mode where you're reluctant to change uh, to another mode where you feel like, hey, this actually feels all right because new things can come into my life and life is far more exciting now. Now I'm seeing plumbing pipes. Do be careful in your home uh, that your plumbing is in good condition because uh, there could be a water leak some, somewhere. I did get a flash about Leo uh, earlier today and roof issues. But for you, I feel it's more plumbing issues. But both uh, Leo and yourself, I feel there's water water involved there somewhere. So yeah, make sure, you know, don't, if you've got a, a, a issue, don't think, oh yeah, I'll just leave that and get it done, you know, in the future. You better to get it done straight away. There's things passing, uh, of course, we all, and we all have this from time to time. Uh, but I see red around it so it's like you might actively encourage something to leave your life okay because the red makes me think there's energy going into it uh, and um, again I'm just looking at the sky now and I can see the clouds they come and go very quickly so whatever happens in 2022 know that it's only for a time it's not going to be forever uh, things come and go also that energy about um, vacation it's quite strong and so I feel like many of you will actually uh, give in and go on a vacation <laughs> okay even a you know a mini break for the weekend is a help uh, for many people alrighty so that's 
it. That's all I'm seeing at the moment. Am I still frozen? Yeah, I'm still stuck in time. <laughs> I have to do something about that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope this is helpful for you. Uh, have a wonderful year, everyone. If you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell right now. Okay, thanks again, and I thank you in advance for your uh, subscribes, likes, and shares. Have a great year. Thanks, and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.